Greetings fellow YouTubers, this is INX, and today is a video that I've been trying to make for a while, which is my Sonic the Hedgehog collection. So similar to the Transformers collection video, this one's taking me a while because I just keep buying stuff, so that kept prolonging it, but now I've taken a break, I've got some stuff, but now it's slowed down, so now I can actually kind of stop and take a look at some stuff, so we're going to take a look at everything, starting off with the games and media, moving on to just miscellaneous items, and then the figures and shelf display, and then we're going to go into a part two as a separate video, talking about the plushies and comic books I have, because I probably own quite a bit of those, so they're going to take up a lot of time, so we're going to move to all of this stuff first, and then move on to that. Starting off with the games and media, like I just said, I've got Sonic Rush for the DS, really fun game, as well as Sonic Colors, also for the DS. This one's pretty good. We got Sonic Classic Collection. This is just all of the classic Sonic games on the DS. It's pretty fun, just being able to play all the classic games right there on my palm. I have a Avengers of Sonic the Hedgehog disc this case is dirty, it needs to be cleaned and replaced because it is bad. I've got a original copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It is in there, it's not just the case. Let me, if I can pop it open, there we go. Yep, there it is, right there. I don't, I have a Genesis. It's like that weird like re-release, like mini portable, like multiple games inside it one that they came out with that was like at dollar generals and i think places like that i have that and it functions like you can actually just put these things in it like there's the slot still there it's pretty interesting but i don't know where it is so it's not in the video <laughs> moving on we now have some more of the movies let me pull them up so I got Sonic Boom season one on disc. Sonic Boom was a weird point in time, but I don't know. I, I think the show is probably the best part of that universe if we're gonna be real. We have Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Sonic the Hedgehog 1, the live action movies. They're really fun. I absolutely adore them. All right, would you look at this? We have the triplets born, the throne awaits. Sonic Generations for the Xbox 360. Pretty fun game. Play it a lot. We have a generic Xbox box. What is it? Oh, I don't know. It's perhaps probably... Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. <laughs> also, have Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox 360. Really fun game. Really like it. We've got Sonic uh, Ultimate Colors for the PlayStation 4. This is not... It's sad that my DS copy of this game is way more fun to play than this remastered version. That is extremely sad. Then we have Sonic Mania, another really fun title. Absolutely love it. And of course, we have to have Sonic Frontiers. This game is peak. Why would I not have Sonic Frontiers? Next, with the miscellaneous items, I've got the Shadow the Hedgehog Hallmark Christmas ornament. He's got some weird gunk on his head, and I can't clean it off, so that makes me pretty damn sad. We have this. This is a like one of those buildable Sonic display things. I had an extra Sonic and Tails, and I put them on a little loop. So now they're like a little keychain or a Christmas ornament thing. You know, just something. A little crafty Sonic thing that I did. Sonic hand sanitizer bottles. You see these all the time where they are dusty. I need to put them under some wash or whatever. But yeah, really cool. Glad to have these because these are just it's cool to have physical merch of 2D Sonic art. We also have a Super Sonic right here. So really fun, really unique. I almost completely forgot this. I have a little rubber running Sonic keychain. Have that on my backpack. It's pretty cool. And then finally, before we move on to the figures, I have this the big Sonic piggy bank pretty cool and it's empty 
because I haven't put any money in it, but it, uh, yeah, real fun, real cool display piece. And right as I said that, I just remembered that I have this thing, the little Sonic that, that holds stuff for you. He, he lives on my nightstand and holds my phone up while it charges because he's, he's, he's a good little boy. And now we are over here because similar to my Gundam collection video, I have a tub just of stored stuff that I either put over in the display or I just want to get rid of it in general at some point in time. So it's just kind of all hanging out in one spot. And that is, of course, where we get the rest of the Sonic collection. So as you can see, there's just some miscellaneous things. Like you've got this Sonic kind of, what was it, like a snack food thing? For kids it's just like a lid i do have the actual cup but i took the main lid off to just kind of have it in here for storage stuff like that i don't know why i set that over there but it's over there we've got like the sonic g shot gun these are actually very powerful surprisingly that blows my mind well you would not expect such a cheap gun to be super strong but it is this is just a kid robot Sonic box. Nothing's in there. And yeah, as you see, this is where we didn't get to most of the collection. Like, we've got random miscellaneous things, like just like this weird silver that used to light up. This, like, showed up, like, in the transition between Jazzwares and Tomy. And it was just really, just really odd. <laughs> got, like, this Knuckles where it's like you had to build the thing and it pulls back and winds with, like, a really stretched Knuckles <laughs> looking thing. You know, we've got some of like the bendy jack stuff in here just a lot of miscellaneous extra things some extra figures stuff i just can't display okay really is just kind of miscellaneous bits and pieces majority of this is also like little accessories from the jack specific stuff so the big thing some of you might be noticing is i have some of the jazzwares three inch figures in here i hate these things <laughs> this is a bit of a hot take but I don't like the Jazzwares Sonic stuff. Of, don't get me wrong, I'm nostalgic for it. I do want to collect more of it. But compared to Jack Specific, this stuff's just awful. I mean, like, this wasn't from play. Hey, I've displayed this ever since I got it. And he is just flimsy. Like, where's where's Espio? Espio's even worse. Yeah, here he is. Like, all I did was display these figures and look, look at that. Leg is broken. Charmy's in even worse state. Where is he? There he is. Like, yeah, these these figures just don't hold up at all to any kind of posing or display. They just don't hold up. Not that great, really. But yeah, I also got stuff like this Tommy Sonic. So, yeah, just a lot of miscellaneous bits and bobs, things and extra figures and stuff like that. Some spare Jack stuff that just not on display so now that we showed off the tub and i've probably been pissed off half of you with my hot take on the jazz over sonic line let's actually move on to the, the main display shall we let's all right and here we go now we have the main display case so this is where i have all of the jack specific sonic stuff that i have so far just right up here on the top of the glass edolf display you can see don't know everybody, I'm missing the Chaotix, and I'm missing some of the, I think Jet and Super Silver. I also don't have the 4-inch Super Shadow, and that makes me a little frustrated. I will want to point out this real quick. This is a custom shard, the Metal Sonic, that I made. The paint's not the greatest, which is why I do plan to replace him with the uh, actual Metal Sonic Mark II that they just released. So stay tuned to see probably a review of that, as well as him in a little secret project Ooh, what am i teasing but yeah we're gonna move on up to this part real quick this is the man that is dusty uh this is just like the very top detolf like it's just the top of it with some extra sonic stuff got the sonic monopoly there some extra 2.5 inch figures right there there's these craftable sonic things i was talking about then of course the 2.5 inch jacks classic sonic stuff with the five inch a five inch four inch mechasonic over here real quick just to point them out i do have the some stuff on the wall we've got just the tech deck sonic stuff sonic 
Amiibo, he's been opened, but he put back in the box. Cement in box, Jack Sonic stuff, and even like a little 30th anniversary. Knuckles, just again, just some extra stuff on the side. We now, if I can now put this down and slide it down, there we go. So now we can just kind of track it like this. This is the second display, and it is all just the Lego Sonic stuff. Those are two classic, not classic, custom made Lego Sonic things that I made back as a kid, right before Lego Sonic was ever a thing, which of course is a Lego Sonic and a Lego Shadow. I did have tons of these, but they just kind of broke apart and have been miscellaneous thrown about into all my other Legos as the years have gone on. So they're, they're just there now. But yeah, you got, see, you got the uh, ideas set right back there. You got the Death Egg robot, the Knuckles mech, which I reviewed, the Lego Shadow bike, which I do need to review at some point as well so that way i've covered decently amount of it we then slide even farther down just like so and we have the third and final display we have well not third and final because we have a fourth display underneath but those are plushies which we plan to cover in part two so stay tuned for that but as you can see it is just you know we've got some of these sonic prime figures right here Got the Tomy Anniversary Pack that has also been opened, just with the stuff put back into it. We've then got, uh, what you... Yeah, the big Tomy Posable Sonic, some of the Pezzes, things like that. There's Jazz Wars Sonic on the Sonic uh, soda can. That thing was disgusting. Better than the G Fuel, at least. I don't have that can, but I've tried it. It is awful. Uh, but you, then you got some more of the Jazz Wars stuff. Bendy, uh, Jax... Metal Sonic right there. And yeah, so there you guys have it. That is part one. We'll come back for part two where we're gonna handle comic books and plushies that I own in my collection because they are quite extensive and a little overwhelming to handle in this first part. So we'll definitely be back around for that. So if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, stay around for part two. And until next time, you guys, peace.